Don't be silly, Lania. Come on. The uncaring woman in here, up to is the bathroom, is me. The guy who is yelling outside, asking me not to do anything foolish, is my husband. I'm taking a cocktail of pills. Make it all of Dalidon, Veronal, or Oral. My husband has already called the ambulance. The thing I can't stand about emergency treatment is having your stomach pump and this damn tube that put down your throat and the day stayed here in for days and the embarrassed look on everyone's faces making all these vague idiotic comments just to say something and then of course they make me see the psychologist pardon the analyst a prick could just sits there for two hours staring at you with his pipe on his tongue on his mouth and suddenly goes please please do cry please do cry the reason for me wanting to die has always been the same he didn't want me anymore he didn't love me anymore at first i thought that maybe he was overtired by all these long hours at work. And then I found out that he had an extremely active sex life with other people, naturally. And when I tried to ask him, why don't you want me anymore? Why don't you love me anymore? You don't make love to me anymore. He found all these excuses. At some point, he put the blame on politics. Yes, politics. Anyway, you were saying, Mr. G. Oh, yeah. Mr. Gorgeous. Let's not get distracted with that. If we lose this contract, I'll probably get the posh and finish up serving his coffee. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You're the best in the team. Everybody knows it. They need you. They can't afford to push you. Even that misogynist Danny knows it. Anyway, nothing I can do about it tonight. Well, except have another drink. Cheers. Cheers.